today it's all about TikTok ponytail hacks. I'm so excited because I actually have a little bit of length on my hair. So I think this is gonna be a great video to see if these hacks actually work and if they're convenient, if they're functional, and if they really change the hairstyle. Let's begin with the first one. You pick it up like halfway. Did that work? It's not bad of a hack. I think it looks really pretty. This hack is definitely more for people that have really thick hair. I do think this is really awesome, but because of that little twist and there's nothing holding the hair underneath besides that twist, it's going to ultimately try to untwist and then it just goes to the one side where you brought it through, which unfortunately does not look good and that's not the look we're going for. But again, you could do things like put some bobby pins in there, get a second clear clear or a regular elastic to make this work, but then it's not really a hack because you're involving a lot more things, and yeah. All right, so ultimately this hack definitely didn't work on my hair. We're gonna skip it. It's not a good one. It's really pretty, but it's not a good one. Let me quickly show you the way I would do or just the original way, and then let's try out their hack. It doesn't look bad, right? But let's see if we can make this longer and fuller. So you need two hair elastics, just like so. So what they first did was create like a half up ponytail. Then you take this back and you create a second ponytail with the rest of the hair. Other. Yes, you can see the other ponytail. I feel like if you have really thick hair, this might work really well, but if you have very thin hair and not as full like myself, you can really see it, but honestly, it doesn't look that bad. You can see the second ponytail, but I feel like that's kind of the look you're gonna go for anyways, honestly. Look at the difference. That actually looks pretty dang good. I think one way to really hide this is to take the hair and wrap it around the hair elastic to make sure you hide the color or even use just a clear elastic. Take the, take the hair, hide it, secure it on both ponytails. That way it's really non-existent. I think that would look better. Let me actually try it with the, with the second ponytail. I'm gonna need Andre's assistance because I can't really see where I'm pinning. How does that look? It's a little better, but you can still obviously see the other one. But I think, I, I think that's kind of the look for it, honestly. It's, I think it's a phenomenal hack, it works. Is it the most inconspicuous hack? It's not, but I think it does work. You can also tease the hair underneath to kind of go into the ponytail and maybe curl it a little bit more, give it a little bit more wave. But I think just kind of teasing it, adding a little bit more texture, that might really work. But I think this turned out better than I expected. I actually really like it. So this next one is, again, to make your ponytail look thicker or fuller. Not longer, but just thicker, more full, more volume towards the actual base of the ponytail. You need one clear or just one regular hair elastic. On your last and final twist, you're gonna split the ponytail in half and only secure the bottom half of the ponytail. Twice. I'm gonna try it twice. All right, what do we think? Not really seeing a difference? I mean, I kinda am. It looks a little more full at the very, very top. I feel like there is a little bit more volume right here towards the top. Like it feels a little thicker, a little more full. I don't know, this one is just like, nah, I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe if you're using like a really big, thick hair elastic, a big scrunchie, it will give you that extra volume underneath, like that little boost. I would definitely say this is feeling very secure in my hair. This might be a hack for, uh, for sports. Sports, if you have very thick hair and you can't really hold it well because you have such, so much mm -hmm. thick hair, like my hair, it's, it's not going anywhere. It is secure. 
This next one is for those that love a good half up ponytail. This is to give you more of a luminous look. Let's do it. You create a half up and then you split it down the middle. You take the ponytail from underneath, you bring it up through and under to create kind of like a topsy tail. Get that ponytail out of the way and then create a second little ponytail underneath with similar amount of hair or a little bit less than. Tie it off, don't do anything, but bring it up underneath and over to basically create like this little waterfall effect with that second ponytail to hide that first clear elastic. And this is supposed to give you more of a fuller looking half up ponytail. Again, it's for people with really thick hair. Otherwise it just doesn't look right. You see a lot of holes. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I'm testing these out, you know, cause some of them are fail for people with not as much hair even like average amount of hair, it doesn't look that great. Like I don't have such thin hair, but I don't have such thick hair where I can hide it because I just have so much amount of hair. It looks really good on her. Again, she has a lot of hair. It's really thick, it's really long. It looks beautiful, but on me, it looks a little unfinished. <laughs> it's a good hack. It's just, I think, really good hack for people, again, with a lot of hair, thick hair, heavy hair. You know what I mean? This next one is all about three ponytails, how you twist them and how you bring them together. Let's do it. So you begin with three ponytails, all the same height and the same amount of thickness, as you would say. You create a topsy tail with the side ponytails. You take the center ponytail through that first topsy tail and then you take the second ponytail and you put it through the other one. So it's kind of like you're creating topsy tails over each other, but Basically this again, it looks really good for people that already have a lot of hair, long hair and coarse hair that will hold the amount of hair. I guess that makes sense. It looks really good on hers, but if you have thin hair, like it just doesn't look that great. I don't know, just again, something's missing. Something doesn't flow right. I do like that there is three ponytails, three elastics. So it's pretty secure. But what we did was we added an extra tiny little bobby pin right in the center to kind of make sure none of it is untwisting over each other. So it feels a lot more secure with that bobby pin right through the center when it goes through the top through all three ponytails, but it, looks messy. it still looks really messy, exactly. You can definitely perfect this, but it only will really look good with people that have a lot of hair. Let's try the no hair band, no problem hack. So basically what you do, you grab the hair, and then with the other hand, you take from one side of the ponytail, you split that section, you hold that section away from the rest of that ponytail, you twist that section around as if you were using a real hairband into the rest of the hair and then you twist again like you would a regular handband hairband around the rest of the ponytail to create this little twist with your own hair. <laughs> kind of worked. Kind of worked, but like yeah. Oh my gosh, I have so many knots in my hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. You can make this work. Again, if your hair is thick, if it has texture, if it's very long, very long because the girl that's showing us, she has long hair and super, super thick hair. So that way she has quite a bit of hair holding the rest of that hair. But like Andre said, the problem is it's not an elastic. It doesn't stretch, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you really have to struggle. I think this is definitely like a last resort type of a hair hack. If you have no hair band, like you really need to get your hair out of the face. And this will not work if your hair is super silky and slippy. Like it's just not gonna work. Like this is third day hair with dry texture spray and dry shampoo. So it has a little bit of hold to it and texture. But otherwise it only works if you have a lot of hair, thick hair and long hair. Otherwise like it's, it's not gonna do anything. There you go. You see what I mean? Like if you need to do anything like strenuous, even, like move a little bit, it's not going to hold. All right. So this next one, you start with two ponytails, one on top of each other. You take this top ponytail, you bring the elastic a little bit down, you split it in half and you twist it twice, either left or right but making sure to keep that hole open. You take the bottom ponytail through that hole towards the top, and then you secure them together or just one by one, you secure it. All right, so 
Again, it's just, it doesn't look good because I don't have as much hair as this girl in the video. Like she has a ton of hair and you can see that she has hair extensions. The thing is when she's showing the final product, she's only showing it to the one side where it's hiding the elastic. She's not showing it all the way around. It doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look great. It's just very matte. It looks very messy. It also looks very unfinished. I'm disappointed with these. Yeah, same here. Like there's only one that I really enjoyed, which was the two ponytails, the one top to bottom, but that's kind of, that was the only hack that made the ponytail look longer and a little more full, but it's more, it's visible. It's, you can see the two ponytails, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm actually kind of disappointed. I think it was good to really test them out on my hair without any kind of hair extensions to really see if I could make any of these work. And yes, you can. They don't look great, they're a little more messy, but you definitely have to have a lot of hair, long hair and hair that has texture and something that will wait, exactly. All right, if you were curious about any of these ponytail hacks and you have very similar hair to mine or your hair is shorter, it's probably going to look like this, <laughs> the results that I got. All right, you guys, thank you for watching these TikTok ponytail hacks and we'll see the next one very soon. Bye.